Hey, good morning, everybody. That was the uh, flight of the Valkyries. Okay, we're frozen. Okay, okay, we're not frozen currently. I have no idea why we would be having these kinds no. of issues like that. Hey, good morning, y'all. It's Monday morning. I'm Sergeant Tony Ludlow, and you have tuned in to Facebook Live, the workout. <laughs> <laughs> And our music this morning was Flight of the Valkyries, which is a classical song, but I didn't know it uh, outside of Bugs Bunny. Mm -mm. If it weren't for Bugs Bunny as a kid in Arkansas, I wouldn't know any classical music. In fact, I thought, I thought the words to that song were, killed a wabbit, killed a wabbit, killed a... <laughs> Love <Okay>. it. <laughs> I thought that was an Elmer Fudd song. How did I know? It was, anyway. Well, listen, did you have a good weekend? At, do you have water? Do you have power? Uh, I, I know. So. I would think that the, the majority of you who are local here in Memphis have uh, most of that. If you are outside of Memphis and other places, it's possible that you're not even tuning in right now because you don't even have power. Um, so um, I hope that whoever, whatever your situation is, that it's, at least tolerable that your that your that your life is well enough right now to tune this in and not have to worry about survival skills. Um, no kidding. Crystal says she's boiling water. I think. Hey Jay, see you out there. Um, and I, I'm assuming that it's okay if you if you will look here to. Uh, I've made a little sign, and the uh, the sign, the um, the marker that I used, is so strong that right now Ashley and I are getting high. It's just... <laughs> I think it's legal. <laughs> um, so, what it says is, uh, Hey everybody, make a comment and we'll greet you. Otherwise... You need to move it over? Just a little. Okay. There you go. Uh, otherwise, we'll let you alone. We, I've come to realize that some people uh, who tune in uh, don't want to be recognized, don't want to have any interaction, don't want to... Don't, I don't know. They don't want to be associated with me. I can understand that. And the, so they don't want this going out. So if you're, if you're watching, you can, you can be in complete anonymity. Only if you respond by saying good morning or hello or Tony, you're, you're looking marvelous. As always. <laughs> Look at that beautiful head of hair we have. <laughs> if, um, if you don't say anything, then I won't say anything at you. We'll just leave. We'll let you be. But if you'd like some interaction, and we want you to interact, so please comment, share, please. tell your friends and family. And uh, on that happy note, let me just say thank you for tuning in. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here this morning. Uh, thank you for your generous support through PayPal and Venmo and Patreon and through just direct checks in the mail. We appreciate it so very much. In fact, the lights are on only because MLGNW is doing a good job in our neighborhood, and you guys allow us to pay the light bill. Okay, so did you get your one hour of continuous cardio over the weekend? That uh, must may have been uh, harder than... Yeah, it was going to be pretty tough. We were because snowed in. Snowed in. I did get 45 minutes of continuous snow shoveling. You sure did, and I was, I was, cheering, I was cheering you on from the inside the house. You were. <laughs> I'm out there doing our, ours and the neighbors and Tony's inside nice and warm. Yes. On that happy note, hey Carol Jernigan, good morning to you. Uh, and I know that some of you guys are perfectly fine with me acknowledging you, and I don't have to. To uh, you don't have to say anything unless, um, like Frank Jimison. I, I don't know if I've seen Frank this morning. I Frank, are you there? So. Uh, I may have missed you. Sometimes in the very beginning, when the music is playing, and I'm so amused by the music that I've chosen. <laughs> I you do amuse yourself often. It really is. Whatever you're seeing happening is just for my benefit. <laughs> if you happen to like what's going on, then uh, then that's good too. I appreciate that. So if you're out there and you want uh, you want to shout out, uh, you want to engage us some sort of way and say hello, then in the comments say hello and I'll say hello back at you and say something about you. Um, okay. Without further ado, did I did did I move on from the did you say who you were? I'm not sure if I did. Hey, I'm Sergeant Tony Ludlow. <laughs> oh, Ashley Ludlow is out there saying hello. Well, hello, Ash. Hey, how are you? I like that. How's that your kind life? Of feels kind of good. How's your life these days? 
Has everybody been boiling their water? That's it. Are you still quarantined with that lunatic? That's what I want to know, Ashley. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's Lisa. Hey, good morning, Lisa. I didn't know if you were there or not, and I didn't know if Frank was there or not. So, uh, And those of you that are tuning this in in the afternoon or the, the evening, whatever it is, we do appreciate it so much. Okay, without further ado, the star of our show, ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Ludlow. Good morning. Yeah, 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 boy. Look, I have my, I've had this hat for since college days. My wow. San Diego you can still Zoo. Wear, you can still wear your hat from college. It's amazing. I have no idea how it still fits. <laughs> it's about the only thing I have. <laughs> I can still wear my hats from the Marine Corps. So. <laughs> And my shoes, the it's boots amazing. and everything. So, Okay, so today's workout, you'll need um, access to a chair or a, um, a step. Well, you need both. You'll need a, a step and a, and a chair. So if you don't have those handy, I'll give you just a second or two to, to rustle those things up. And we'll just <laughs> to rustle them up like they're... Like they're uh... So we have a critter in our house somewhere. Oh, yeah. We've been... He's, he's in there. We, we've been... We've been trying to catch him, catch her, whatever. And so far, uh, mouse one, Ludlow family zero. I think he's a two or three. He ate my banana bread. Ashley made some banana bread, which was really good, and uh, left it on the countertop. Wrapped up. Wrapped up. It was wrapped up. And then the next morning, someone had helped themselves to a little bit of it. So I, we know it's cold and freezing, and everyone's looking to. Everyone and everything is looking to get warm and taken care of. But so he's in, he's in the... So this is, yeah, so Ashley, right Ashley put some uh, breadcrumbs and bird seed and so forth in a plate and took it outside for the birds to eat. She, she's okay with feeding the birds outside, but not feeding the, mi the mice I inside. I, I think you're, I think you're prejudiced. But what, but we did catch something the other day in your, your <laughs> mouse trap. <laughs> you're good. You caught something in the mousetrap. Okay, y'all. In the mousetrap, and I'll, this will be the last thing I say before we get busy. In the mousetrap, so the, the next morning, uh, I go to check the mousetrap, and there is, in fact, something in the mousetrap. Yeah. A sponge. Because. Somehow, <laughs> Lisa said, some, same at her house, in the pantry, ate their bread. Ate our banana yes. bread, too, Lisa. Um so that next morning I checked the trap and there is a sponge, y'all. There is a sponge in the uh, in the mouse trap. Apparently, and we could see that there was some little uh, chewing on that sponge. Apparently the mouse must have got after that sponge and in the process of trying to eat some of the sponge, knocked the uh, mouse trap and the, <laughs> the trap caught the sponge. It did. I should have taken a picture of that. Okay, that's enough uh, of this. Glad you're here this morning. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get underway, shall we? Yes, and if you hear some rustling around back in there, if you see one come out, please let me know. Please let me know if he opens the cabinet. You know, there's a 10 second or so delay, so uh, they might be yelling, screaming, Ashley, there's a mouse, there's a mouse. But by the time we would see it, be gone. But he's somewhere in there. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Side straddle hops, 410. Ready? Exercise. Uh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Cut. Okay. Ready. Take two. Ready. Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Get your dumbbells in your hands. And uh, get the chair out too. So uh, what we're going to do is is wide stance sumo squats. Actually, not the wide stance, just regular stance uh, squats with uh, with no press, just the squat only. So what you want to do is, and I'll put you on the clock for this. So what you're going to do is you're you're just going to do squats, and you're going to use the chair as a as a means to uh, to let you know that you bent your knees enough so that it, you'll get the full range of motion. So I'll put you on the clock for this. Go. Ooh, that chair's cold. <laughs> Carol said don't let the mouse run up your leg. Oh God. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> it's not that he's just taking it. I mean, we gotta, we're gonna figure something out. 
We're trying to catch it. Yeah. So the thing is, though, that Ashley will feed the birds outside, but doesn't want to feed the mice inside. That's right, your prejudice against the poor mice. All right, 20 more seconds. Trick us by letting us catch a sponge. <laughs> Just, I couldn't have been more shocked. I'm, when you're looking at a mouse trap and there's and the the trap is clearly sprung, but there is only a sponge. <laughs> couldn't have been couldn't have been more surprised. I think that's a pretty smart mouse. Pretty that's smart cool. mouse. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Ooh. You can put the dumbbells down if you had them. And then side straddle hops four three ready exercise one two three one one two three two one two three okay give yourself a little room we'll do a little uh, agilities so uh, two step shuffle and touch one step shuffle and touch uh, two step Heisman trophy drill any of those three or something that you like to do that it works on uh, agility lateral movement is what we're going for here. All right, you got 30 seconds, ready and go. 30 seconds for 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, walk that off a little bit. A little bit. Got my boiled water here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if you're here in Memphis, we're still boiling water, aren't we? I guess we are. Uh, yeah. I guess we are. Hey, T. Tom is down there. Don recommends peanut butter on the mouse trap. Yeah, uh, and he's that? he's the mouse whisperer. Well, oh, please well, come take him out. Well, I, we we put the we I did put some. We some had cheese the first time. That's peanut. when we caught the sponge. Thank you. Was you know the us the thing is though the 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 bait w was still there, so it must have scared the mouse and he ran off. He did not get the bait, so now we have banana bread with peanut butter <laughs> and and cheese. So we're doing everything we can to entice that mouse to take a bite. Your last bite on earth. All right, here we go. Get the get that chair back out there. We're doing another set of uh, squats. We'll do the same thing as before. It's just a squat only. Your feet are about shoulder width apart, maybe just a tiny bit wider. And only the pre only the squat, no press. You're on the clock for this. Ready and go. Did I put you on the clock for a full minute? Yeah. I believe I did. Yeah, so you're sitting all the way down as Ashley is. You might be thinking, is there any problem with just bending your knees so that your, your bottom touches the, the chair and then you come back up. Not a problem with that at all. But the sitting down all the way um, helps to mimic more of you getting up and getting down uh, just in regular everyday life. Now I do have a question. When I stand up, should I like straighten my legs all the way? Sort of tight yeah, yeah, you quads? can. You don't necessarily have to uh, lock your knees, but you can. There's not going to be anything there's no advantage or disadvantage to doing so. Other than I think it helps to to ensure that your form is good and that you're getting a full range of motion. Three, two, one, that'll do it. Put the dumbbells down. And again, give yourself a little room for our agilities. 30 seconds of the same thing that we just did. Two step shuffle and touch. One step shuffle and touch. Two step Heisman Trophy. Lateral movement is what we're going for here. Ready and go for 30 seconds. 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Walk that off just a tad. And get the chair back out. This will be your last set of squats. Last set of squats. We'll do the exact same thing as we did before. Last set, your third and last set of the squats. You're going for the wider stance this time. I think so, is that okay? Yeah. No, it's not okay, Ashley. Do as I say. Yes, if you want, <laughs> if you want to do a wider stance squat, you're welcome to do that. Uh, either way, it's fine. You are on the clock for it, ready and go. 
and Ashley has also opted not to have the dumbbell. So you can also opt not to have Ashley's dumbbell. Is today Emily's birthday or is it tomorrow? Emily Balonis. I am not certain about that. I know it's coming up. I know Anna had a birthday yesterday. Want to say hi to Michelle Moss, Alan and Tara? And you are correct. Today is Emily Malonis Smith's happy birthday, birthday. Good morning, or happy birthday, Em. I think they, they tune us in later in the day, they don't do. they? Yeah. Look at me. Remember. Look at you remembering. That's awesome. Um, just to explain how we might be a little more uh, uh, demonstrative in our acknowledgments of certain people. That's good. That's good. Uh, some of the people that we that we acknowledge. Uh, are people that we've known a long time, and no, uh, and that's Potter yeah. High Emily would be one of those. Emily was in, um, she was in my U.S. history class. She she was one of my students. I believe she was a student in the class in the in the ninety eight ninety nine school year. Oh, so you're so, so they can figure out your age. <laughs> so still younger so, than me. So so I've known Emily since she was a. Uh, junior in high school, and, and she graduated in 2000. So, in happy birthday! And what is her degree in? History, of course, she, because she had she got a master's in it. I guess she had a really good history teacher in high school, so, <laughs> or awesome. or she had a really terrible history teacher in high school, and she said, you know, I do way better than this. So, <laughs> okay, side shuttle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. Ooh. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, now go ahead and get your step out. Um, <clears throat> or take your computer or your phone to where your step is if you're using the uh, stairs in your house. What we're going to do is you're going to step up and then step down and step up, step down. You want to alternate the, the foot that you step up on. And uh, before we start that, let me just remind some of you that might be tuning in later. Um, there's a there's a sign right right here. If you would like to to be acknowledged and have a little shout out, make a comment in the comment section, and we'll holler back at you. If you'd like to just be incognito, just don't say anything, and we'll leave you be. Okay. Up and stepping down. You're going to be on the clock for this for one minute. Ready and go. Stepping up, stepping down, and you're alternating the foot that you step up and step down on as Ashley is doing such a fine Thank you, sir. such a fine job you can never tell I've been step class well yeah the arm movement will let you know that Ashley has been in a step class before okay don't get too fancy in there we can't I can't oh, I, I can't afford do jazz or size or any I can't afford workman's I can't afford workman's comp so, no, we can't. That's right. 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Almost there. Morning, Tate Keller. I, I somehow missed, your, missed you being there. And speaking of history. Speaking of history, Dr. Tate Keller is the chairman of the history department at Rhodes College. And our good friend. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Surround ourselves with smart people. Well, right. Why wouldn't you? That's right. Yeah. Surround yourself with people that are smarter than you, better than you, prettier than you. <laughs> That's why I got you, because you're smarter and prettier than me. Oh. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. You can walk that off for. Just a second or two. Woo. Okay, that ought to be about enough. I keep making reference to the sign over here because I don't want anybody to feel like, oh, he does, he and Ashley don't care about us. So the sign is over here. It's always it's it's back. It's flipped over backwards when you, yeah. So the sign is over there. So if if you're uh, if you're watching and you're wanting to be incognito, we will let you be. But if you would like to be acknowledged, then uh, give a little shout out to us. And we will shout back at you. Got it? Uh -oh. At the top. 
Top middle. We're here. We're here, people. Okay. Let me see here. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Right. Okay. If we disappear for a second, that was that was my fault. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. So I was saying, if uh, if you want. If you want to be acknowledged, if you want a little engagement with us, which we would love to, for you to do, but there's no obligation. But if you make a comment in the comment section, we'll, we'll say something at you. Uh, otherwise, you're free to, to watch and laugh and ridicule oh, yeah. on your own. Okay, uh, let's do another set of the uh, stepping up, stepping down. Will that be your second or third? Second. Second, second okay. set. Yes. Is that right? Okay, ready and go. Stepping up and stepping down. I want to make sure people understand if you engage with us, that does not mean we're all engaged. I don't need to worry. Leave the humor. <laughs> You're the pretty one. Hey! I'm the... I'm the... Uh, pretty the, one? I'm the hideous funny one. <laughs> Whatever. You're the pretty one. I'm the funny one. Or allegedly. We are glad that you're tuning in this morning. <clears throat> and if you say hello, we'll say hello right back at you. And if we, uh, if if you're not local to Memphis and we've never met face to face, if you'll say hello and tell us where you are, we'll we'll acknowledge that as well. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. You can walk that off. How about some side shuttle hops for three? I like those. Ready, exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Okay, you can walk that off. We're gonna do one more set of this, one more set of the same thing, the stepping up and the stepping down. So here we go. One more set, Woo. one more minute, ready and go. Stepping up, stepping down. Stepping up and stepping down. And so I know we have a lot of runner people out there. This is an excellent thing to do to cross train to do in our workout and help support your running for sure. That is true. We we um, Ashley and I are part of a couple of different Facebook groups that um, you know hobby oriented and a couple of them are runner and runner related. And someone asked yesterday what kind of cross training we could they could do or what what are other people doing? And we said, well, you could work out with us. Absolutely. And it is free. And we have hundreds of, probably, oh, well over a hundred videos. Oh yeah, yeah. We got, our YouTube channel has well over a, a hundred um, videos to choose from and just depending on what you want. I haven't always named those videos reflective of what the workout is. I would just, you know, I would come up with the, well, this is the George Washington workout. That's good. <laughs> off, I sure will. <laughs> Got the heat bone on me right here. I, and I heard it. I heard it about the same time that you said. Ooh. See. Thank you, sir. You're what? You're quite welcome. Okay. We have, we have heat. Thankful for that. Okay, we're going to do uh, uh, one more thing with legs. So we've we've done squats. We've done step ups. Now we're going to do some calf raises. Uh, again, this is also one of those good things for uh, for runners in particular. When you come all the way down, and you'll get a you'll get a stretch. So if you've ever had problems with plantar fasciitis or things so you're uh, like about when that, you drop your yes. So as you can see, Ashley's dropping her uh, heels down below the balls of her feet. So that that's going to be her full range of motion, and we'll do uh, about 30 seconds worth, and then we'll hold it in the down position to get a good stretch for about 30 seconds. Then we'll jump off there and jump around. Jump around, jump around. Then we'll jump around a little bit and then we'll get right back to it. So we're gonna do three of these sets. So here we go. You're on the clock for this for all 30. The way up, all the way down. All the way up and all the way down. And by all the way down, that means that the heels go down below the balls of your feet. All Sometimes right. Sometimes I see when people do that, they just stop here. They do. They need to have their toes raised. A full range of motion up on your toes and then all the way down with the heels below the balls of your feet. Okay, you're on the clock now for 30 seconds. 29, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twenty, nineteen, 
18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way up on your toes and hold that for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way down. A good, a good stretch right there for 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. You know, I realize the way I know my heels are down is if I lift my toes, because you can't lift your toes if your feet are parallel. Huh. So if you oh. lift your toes, you know your heels are down. Okay. It's helpful for me. I'm glad that it is. Let's do some happy feels for about 20 oh, seconds. Happy feels, that would be your in place uh, stationary um, plyometric skip. Here we go. Ready and go for 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, right back to the step for the uh, full range of motion calf raises. Again, this is one of those the, one of those exercises that will help to sh to uh, strengthen and lengthen your Achilles tendon as well as your uh, um, hamstring. Uh, a lot of runners, a lot of athletes have Achilles tendon issues. I do from time to time. So do this full range of motion. Got this for 30 seconds. Ready and go. All the way up and all the way down for 28, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you can all the way up on your toes and hold that for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and all the way down. Full range of motion. Heels below the balls of your feet for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. All right. Walk that off for just a second. And we'll tackle one more set. All right, here we go. Last set of calf raises. Ready and begin. You're on the clock for 30 seconds. 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way up on the up. Uh, up on your toes and hold that for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the way down and hold that for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. There we go. Woo. You can walk that off. Was that your third set? That was my third set, sir. Okay, then. <clears throat> How about side straddle hops for three? Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to do some push-ups, obviously. Of course we are. So, a couple of things. If you have the chair or even a countertop, if, you're, if all the way down on the floor is a posture that you just aren't able to do yet, you can use the counter as Ashley is right there and use the, the, uh, the counter as a means to do the push-up. This will make it, this is an easier way to do it. I'm not suggesting you do that if, you're, if you've already been able to do regular push-ups, but if you're new, we've got a little break. Okay, that's good. Oh, we froze again. I think uh, on Monday mornings, because school started back, there's so many kids, everybody's online right now. Possibly so. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a set of push-ups again. Let me remind you, you're going to want to, if you're in the down position, you have your hands here, 
and you're on the floor, your, your shoulder blades are automatically trying to squeeze together. That's what we want. So squeeze those shoulder blades together and then give me a full range of motion. Keep the tension in the shoulder blades. Keep that, that attempt to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep that there the, for the whole range of motion. It'll feel weird at first, uh, but that's fine. It's a, it's a, it's a much gooder way to, it's, it's a way gooder way to do this, I think. Hey, Henry Kenworthy, Henry is out there. Hey, Good morning Henry. to you, sir. How are you? All right, here we go. Stand by, push up, Marine Corps ready, exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. There we go. Ten of those, or... A civilian 20. Flip over on your back and we'll crunch again. We will crunch. We will crunch again. You are on the clock for the crunching. Ready and go. 30 seconds. 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. All right. Flip right back over on your stomach or if you're using a countertop or uh, you can use the back of a, of a real sturdy chair, you can do it like that. I think most people, if you're in the kitchen, you got a countertop. My guess is. We'll do your second set of push-ups. Again, squeeze those shoulder blades together and uh, keep that, that squeeze for the whole range of motion. Stand by. Push up. Marine Corps ready. Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. There we go. Woo. Yeah. No need to get up. Just flip right back over on your on your back. And we'll crunch again. Any style of crunching will work. Any kind of abdominal um, exercise, core exercise, you've got it for 30 seconds. Ready and go. For 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. All right. Roll right back over. Ooh. Flip on over for your last set of push-ups. I'm sore from snow shoveling. Oh, I know. You were out there just slaving away with that. I think you didn't have the proper gear. Oh, I did. You, know, you didn't have a proper shovel for that. But that's pretty much true of, of Memphis. We don't, have, we don't have proper gear for, uh, for that kind of stuff. But uh, in lieu of boiling water, what we did is we used our backpacking water filters too and we're, we're we're frozen again well we froze again okay you haven't missed anything we're uh, this is your last set of last set of push-ups right yep okay here we go squeeze those shoulder blades together keep that squeeze for the whole time stand by in the down position push up marine corps Four. ready exercise one two three one one two three two one two three one, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three. That'll do it. Flip on over on your back and we'll crunch again. Any core abdominal exercise. Sometimes people say, Tony, what's, what's the best exercise for me to, to get a, a six pack? Here's the best exercise for you to get a six pack. So you put your arms out like this and then you wiggle your fingers like that and then you keep the wiggling things away from your mouth. That's the best. We all have a six pack, all of us. Uh, some of our six packs are just covered over with down comforter. But oh, yeah. the, goal, the goal here of these uh, abdominal exercises 
core exercises is not to get the six pack. The, the goal of this is to, is to have a healthy, strong core. That's what we're doing here. Okay, last set of that. Ready and go for 30 seconds. 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. You should have dumbbells for some flies and pullovers. So get those dumbbells. Get your dumbbells. You'll be right back on your backs. We're going to do a set of flies and pullovers. We're going to do those together with your hands facing inboard for the first 10. Then we'll make a hand adjustment for the next 10. Here we go. Ready? Exercise. Go out for one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three. Now we're going to change the hand position. Hands facing your feet now. Ready? Exercise. Go out for one, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. That'll do it. Put the dumbbells down, but don't go anywhere. I'm going to do some leg lifts, so put your hands under your own booty for some support. Make your legs straight, then raise your straight legs up to 90 degrees. Now lower them down to six inches above the deck. Raise your head and shoulders up. Look at your feet and flutter kick them for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and crisscross for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. All right. Dumbbells right back in your hands. We'll do flies only this time. With your hands facing inboard, flies only. Here we go. Ready. Exercise. Go out for one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. We'll do it. We'll do the pullovers. Then we're going to move on to some other stuff. Here we go. Legs are straight. Bring the straight legs down from 90 degrees down to six inches above the deck. Raise your head and shoulders up. Look at your feet and flutter kick them for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And crisscross for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Dumbbells right back in your hands and your last uh, exercise on your back. That'll be your pullovers. Hands facing your feet. If you, uh, if you need to use just one dumbbell, you can do that as Ashley is holding it. Here we go. Ready? Exercise. Go back for one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, and that'll do it. Everybody up on your feet. Everybody up. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. And you can walk that off. We'll take just a 
just a wee break. Um, let me say thank you to uh, many of you um, knew that I was taking a comprehensive exam, a four-hour comprehensive exam last Thursday, and some of you uh, prayed for me and wished me well. Others of you uh, sacrificed small rodents in a backyard ritual for my... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just making that up. I don't know how I did. Uh, it was four hours of misery. For you. Yeah, it was. It was pretty tough. But thank you for your um, for your words. I won't know probably for another week or so how I did. And if I did well, you'll hear about it. If I didn't, uh, this may be our only our only discussion about that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Okay. Now we'll do a set of Swiss Army knives. Uh, one of our favorite exercises. It is so good. My dad likes to call them jack knives. <laughs> so we'll do, we'll do uh, 10 repetitions per exercise. If you're new to the Swiss Army knife, this is a multiple move exercise that you'll keep the dumbbells in your hands for the whole time. We'll move from one body part to the next seamlessly. Are we doing 10? 10 repetitions per exercise. Awesome. So we'll start in the down position. You're gonna, you, you'll come all the way up and when you come all the way up, you're going to roll your shoulders back and bring your hips forward just a little bit. That'll let you know that you've done your full range of motion. And we'll be counting slow enough so that everybody should be able to participate. All right, here we go. Starting in the down position. Ready? Exercise. One. 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 Two. 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 Three. 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 Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Niner. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. And now the rows for ten. Exercise. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Niner. Nine. Ten. Bicep curls now for ten. Exercise. One. One. Two. Two. two three. Three. Four. Four. four five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight niner, nine, nine, ten. Arnold presses for ten. Exercise. One, one, two, two, two three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight niner, nine, nine, ten. Tricep extensions. And exercise. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. -er. Nine. Ten. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. Side shuttle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. We'll walk that off for just a second. Wiener dog. She gave me grief about my four hour exam. She went, Phew. at least what? that's how. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you worked so hard. Four hours. It was one of those things, trying to prepare for it, it was. There were literally things on that exam that I had my very first semester. Our very first class. Yeah. Your very first class. Uh, there were. And so, in preparation for it, it was just, it was just madness. Okay, let's do, um, let's do another set of Swiss Army knives. Winter dog, I know you mean that in, in love and respect. I got it. I got it. Okay. Um, Crystal says that she's, she believes I aced it. I think well, Crystal, so. I hope you're right. Catherine Speedling is out there. Good morning, Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Good morning to you. Now, Winter Dog is saying, well, indeed, I did do well. <laughs> indeed, sir. I had four hours to do it, and I finished with two minutes to spare. And I really could have used those other two minutes to go over some of my answers, and especially to reread some parts of, of the essays I wrote. But 
I was afraid technologically that I wasn't going to log off in the right amount of time. I was afraid that if I took the oh, whole four funny. hours that you know, it was going to be some sort of a technical glitch. And I sort of had a technical glitch getting on to it. I'll tell you more about that. Now, when you, oh, when you were done and opened that door, I was standing there like this. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to see the expression on your face. And I looked like I'd just come from invading another country. I, that's what okay, like. Swiss Army Knives, we'll do one repetition per exercise this time. So starting in the down position, ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can put that down and walk that off for just a second. Um, so I'm not one of those that takes a test and then immediately when it's over goes to the notes or the book and start looking up stuff. I just want to say, okay, well, I'm done with it. I don't really want to think about it anymore. But one of the questions, one of the things that was on the test was to run a statistical analysis, so a, a, a stats test. You had to choose which stat test it would be, chi-squared, t-test, ANOVA, uh, Pearson's regression. Um, hey, smart man. Um, but anyway. Talking outside the language. <laughs> okay, so I woke up in the middle of the night the next day realizing I had left something out. Yes, I woke up and you're like, I, I woke up and I'm going, oh my gosh. And I didn't go looking for it. It just dawned on me that I had left. That is the worst feeling. And there was crazy. Okay, here we go. Another set of Swiss Army knives. You well, still did great, I have no doubt. Well, thank you. Here we go. Last set of Swiss Army knives. Are we doing? We're going to do 12 repetitions per exercise. <laughs> That's right, boys and girls. Out of That's time. right. Buckle up. Here we go. Buckle up. Ready? Buckle up. Exercise. One. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, and the rows for twelve. Exercise. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Niner. Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Bicep curls for twelve. Exercise. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. three four, four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. six seven, seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. eight niner. Nine. Ten. 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 11, 11, 12, Arnold presses Ooh. for 12, exercise, 1, 1, 2, two three, three, 3, 4, 4, four five, 5, 6, six, six seven, 7, 8, eight, eight nine, 9, 10, ten, ten 11, 11, 11, 12, tricep five. extensions for 12. And exercise. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Niner. Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. There we go. Put that down. Woo. Yeah. 
Side One, saddle hops yes. for three. You ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. And we will change gears at this at Ooh. this juncture, ladies and gentlemen. See if there's out. anybody I should. I know there's some of you guys out there watching, and I'm not calling your name because I'm letting you be incognito. But if you would like to give us a shout out, you can say something in the, in the comments. Say hey, girl. Say, hey. say hey, girl. And we'll say something back at you. Or tell us where you live. We'd like to know. Yeah. We're here in sunny. It is There's sunny. snow on the ground, Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. Okay. Uh, at this point in our workout, we're going to take two minutes for quiet prayer and meditation. We'll be back in two minutes starting now. Now you can come forward on your hands and flutter kick your legs behind you if you need to get some circulation back into your legs. And from there you can roll back to a catcher stance. And from the catcher stance you can stand up straight, roll your shoulders back, breathe in deep and exhale slow. And we are done, all done everybody, all done. Turn to your neighbor and say way to go good neighbor. Way to go to my favorite neighbor. And Crystal, Crystal was out there saying that Jerry Clower was here. Oh! Some of you. See, yeah. Crystal, Crystal uh, is a in person uh, boot camper, our good friend. Best and, person ever. And she, um, when we start doing too many repetitions of an exercise, she lets me know by oh, saying stuff like that. So, so Crystal. Okay then. Hey, did I see Harmon Hayes out there? Harmon, I know that I, I've got this sign that says if you holler, I'll holler back, and if you won't holler, I won't holler. But, just call but I'm gonna call you out because you're my, you're my buddy, you're my marine brother, and so I'm gonna say Semper Fi, my friend. Uh, okay. Well, listen, um, you got a great workout if you worked out with us. If you worked out with some other knuckleheads, can't can't tell you about that. So now here comes the most embarrassing and most awkward part of our whole show. This will be how to you sign off. It's not that we don't know how to say goodbye. We do. It's just that the little the little clicker button uh, thing on the screen that says to finish up is uh, temperamental. It. Uh, that's not the crater. That's the ice cream sheet. <laughs> it sometimes scares us to death. <laughs> so here's the awkward part of the show. Can Tony and Ashley get off of this without looking like goobers at the end? Here, drum roll. Uh, you are dismissed. Hi, sir. We'll see you on Wednesday.